Hello, hello everybody. Happy Thursday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you are having a wonderful afternoon. Um, this is Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. And when you come on, please tell me hello. Tell me how you're doing. Tell me where you're from. So today, this week, um, I haven't done a whole lot on our wedding, but we have a wedding this weekend that is very, I would say, wildflower. Everything about it is lots of wildflowers. And so, if you saw me live earlier today, I did the flower girls' little golden rings that they're going to carry. Y'all, they turned out so, so cute. I actually took a picture. I'm gonna post it in just a little bit. But this afternoon, I have to make wildflower boxes. And so these wooden boxes were provided to me by the bride's mother, Miss Jennifer. And so she brought me these beautiful antique boxes and I have two of them. And one of them I believe is going to go on the gift table and one of them is going to go on the registry table, I believe. I'm not exactly sure, but I am so excited to place them wherever she wants them. She is, uh, the bride is getting married over at the Lee home in Columbus, Mississippi. And so I am so excited to take you on a tour of that location on Saturday when I get all of the flowers set up. So I am starting out. I have this beautiful antique wooden box. And in the bottom of the box, I have placed a piece of styrofoam just so that it lifts up my oasis. My oasis is taped in and it is in a little plastic liner that's filled with water so that it's going to keep all our flowers fresh. Um, Victoria is here with me, so if you have any questions, ask those questions um, or any suggestions, tell me those too because I need all the suggestions I can get. Um, and I am going to get started. Um, Victoria, you got anything? Uh, yes, Miss Diane Weeks says hello again. Hello, hello Miss Diane. Thank you for being here. Miss Allison says happy St. Patrick's Day, Monty and Victoria from New Hampshire. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. The rings are adorable and very popular right now for bridesmaids and flower girls. Aren't they so sweet? They really did turn out so sweet. Joy Cutright says hello from West Virginia. Hello, Miss Joy. What a beautiful name. Miss Barb says good afternoon, guys. Hello, Miss Barb. Thank you for being here today. And Miss Joe Mackey says good morning from Clinton, New Zealand. Hello, hello. Thank you for being here. So what I'm doing, I'm starting out by just taking a little bit of leather leaf, and I am just covering my mechanics. So this oasis, of course, does not fill up this box. And I want it to look like, I don't want you to see the box. I don't want you to see the foam underneath. Not that I don't want you to see the box. That's, I'm, I misspoke. I don't want you to see all of the inside of the box, okay? And so the only reason I'm taking a few, um, a few pieces of this leather leaf is I'm just trying to cover up that box opening. So I think I'm only using about three, three stems, not much, maybe four, um, just so that we can cover up our mechanics. You know, that's one of my things. You gotta cover up those mechanics. Miss Linda White says, happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you, Miss Linda. Thank you for being here this afternoon. Miss Tammy says hi from New Orleans, Louisiana. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is port -a -corpet. Corpus, is that right? Um, this is, um, I was talking about this earlier. It's, um, it is a Florida grown product and I get it from our um, company that we order fresh flowers from. So I am just adding some of this to the base of this arrangement. I just want it to be pretty and airy and not too compact, but it does have to cover up my base. So I'm just taking this um, Porta Corpus. If I'm saying that incorrectly, y'all correct me because I could certainly be saying that wrong. Mm -hmm. And I'm just tucking a little bit of this in to give us a pretty base uh -oh. and tucking it in in little individual pieces. Stephen Bernardi says, Happy St. Patrick's Day from Pennsylvania. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you so much. We're glad you're here this afternoon. Love watching you every day makes my day. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> Kyle Dunbar says, Hello from hello, Oklahoma friend. City. Hello, Kyle. 
Kyle says, Happy St. Patrick's Day. So thank you, sir. <laughs> Margaret, Miss Margaret Lynch says, Hi, Monty and Victoria from Margaret Lynch, McRoom, Coke Cork, Southern Ireland. More tips. <laughs> <laughs> She's back. Mm -hmm. We're so glad y'all are all here and you're so faithful to come back. You must like what we're doing and I'm so glad. Shirley Beaver says, Can't wait to see these boxes finished. Oh, aren't they so pretty? I love them. And everything we're doing is kind of um, antique. Like, I'm going to do the larger arrangements in um, kind of old um, crockery, like an off-white crock um, that are really nice. So, tomorrow you might see me often because I've got several things that have to be done. We've got some corsages, and I know that you wanted to see corsage work, so I'm going to do wired and taped and glued corsage work tomorrow. Um, I also have Ivy's bridal bouquet that I haven't done yet, so... I will do that, and then I may do one of the larger arrangements. And then on Saturday, um, I have to do, the altar arrangement has to be done on site. So it's gonna be a little different. It's, um, it's a big piece, installation piece, and so I'm gonna do everything there. Okay, next I'm coming in with some lemon stock. I always call it butter because it really looks like a butter color rather than a lemon. I'm going to take that and tuck a few stems here and there. And I'm just stripping the stems, the greenery off the stems, and Miss, just tucking it right in. This Lisa's from Southern Connecticut. Southern Connecticut. Okay. I wonder if it's too hot in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it's probably too hot in Mississippi? We get hot. Well, is California hot? Because it, it grew from in California. Yeah, but we're so different. Mm -hmm. I wonder what their zones are. We're yeah. zone seven. Well, I, I wonder if fever few, few would grow in Mississippi. I know parts of California are hot. Are hot. Yeah, no, it's I'm hot. hot. I'm I don't know. Know. It's hot, but I think our um, our humidity is different, mm -hmm. and then we get yeah. cold at different times. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is that blue thistle. So you can really see that it's just a wildflower arrangement. It's not got a whole lot of, it's not really a styled arrangement so much. Miss Melissa says, hello, first time catching you live. Always watch the replay. I am from Guyana, South America. Wow, welcome. Thank Guyana. you so much for being here. <laughs> Okay, so these are roses. I am taking them and I'm wiring those heads. Um, and it's strictly because it helps keep that head standing up. And I just want to make sure that it stays fresh in this oasis. So I'm gonna take those stems and I'm just tucking them down deep. I'm pulling back all of the, um, the bumped petals. These are just the guard petals. So I just took the guard petals off. This is just a little wire and I'm throwing stuff on the floor. And I just wired that head. Miss Yvonne says hello from Massachusetts. Hello, hello. Thank you for being here, Miss Yvonne. Joanne Rhodes says hello again, Monty, watching from Goose Creek, South Carolina. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for being here. Carla Justice says, Hi, Monty and Victoria, again from Charleston, South Carolina. I can't wait to see what you are doing. Cheryl Guyton says, Hey, Monty and Victoria. Hey, Miss Houdin says, Hello. Hello, hello, ladies. Thank y'all for being here. Okay, so you can see everything all about it is just very wildflower, almost as if you walked outside and you just gathered some flowers um, and you just tucked them in a pretty box. So these are ranunculus, yellow ranunculus, and you can see they're kind of, kind of leggy is what I would call them. They kind of have very little form. So I am going to wire their necks because it's going to help me tell them what to do. Isn't this such a pretty palette? Okay, I am partial to yellow and white, but oh, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. I was so excited about this wedding just because I love these colors. But Victoria said, oh, I had no idea yellow was going to be so fabulous. Mm -hmm. 
Miss Judy Rodare says, I love the flower choices in this arrangement, especially the chamomile. Oh, isn't it wonderful? I was, it was one of those things that I was determined we would have. When I saw her pictures and her pictures had so much chamomile in it, I said, I have to have it. And so, mm -hmm. the reason we have not, we're just now really starting on this wedding is because the chamomile came in this afternoon. Um, what else came in? Tulips came in this afternoon. Um, Gladiolus came in? Glads were for a, uh, it's not for the wedding. Oh. The Glads came in for church arrangements. And then we got Lysianthus in this afternoon. So we've, um, we have been waiting on our flowers to get here. So that's the reason we're starting a little, a little later than we do on average. Isn't this so pretty, y'all? It's just so pretty. Okay, I'm working trying to get it into that oasis. Miss Margaret uh, says we grow it in Ireland in gardens. You can pick, you can. Oh, where'd it go? You can pick it in the, on the side of the road if the wind will blow a seed. I should oh, turn off the wow. the, fur, the fever feet. Oh, okay. All right, guys. I'm going to put a couple of these billy balls just because I love them. <laughs> <laughs> and they just it just needs it. Okay, so these are little billy balls, and billy balls are just little yellow orbs. Just so precious and fun. So I'm going to tuck just a few of these in here. But you can see it's just a wildflower arrangement. There's nothing really, it doesn't have a whole lot of style necessarily as much as it just kind of looks like I just went out to the garden and I pulled flowers out of the garden and we just stuck them in the box. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it makes me so happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's the first box. So just very gardeny, very pretty. I'm doing the second box exactly the same. The second box is a little larger. So I'm gonna set this one to the side. Oh. Someone asked earlier if Victoria was my daughter. Victoria is not my daughter. <laughs> now I wouldn't mind her being my daughter, but she is not. She is actually um, dating my son. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> Um, and Owen won't see this, so we don't have to discuss it, Victoria. <laughs> Maybe he will. He is going to have to, <laughs> have to edit the video on the other camera. <laughs> oh, well. But yes, Victoria <laughs> is just our employee, and she is actually my son's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So I am very blessed. <laughs> Joe Mackey asks, do you put flower conditioner in with the water in the oasis? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We put flower food in with the water in the oasis. Yes, ma'am. Sarah Atkins says, I am just a pretend florist. I do love, or I do all the flowers for church. I have learned so much from watching you. Oh, I am so glad. I am so glad these videos are useful. Julie Ferris says, this arrangement looks like a beautiful garden. Doesn't it? It's just a, a garden. It looks as if you just went out and cut flowers out of your garden. Miss mm -hmm. Allison says, Disney for the 50th anniversary. Yes. So fun, I'm jealous. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that was really one of my, my things that I really wanted to do just because it's just fun to do. Miss Carolyn Malone Phillips says, loving this arrangement. Thank you, Miss Carolyn. Oh, I love this arrangement. Miss Melissa says, hello, beautiful from California. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Miss Joanne asks, what is the price of the door wreath you recently decorated beside you? This door wreath, I don't know if you can see it, I'll lift it up. This one is $125. I did it for a, um, a lady. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but... I did it for um, a lady who placed an order for it, but it's really pretty. It turned out, I love the colors. Mm -hmm. I was very excited about the colors. It really turned out really pretty. And you can see me, um, I did this one on a YouTube video. And so if you'll go back, I think we posted it, was it yesterday? I think we posted it yesterday. And you can go back and watch. You can click on it and it'll take you to our YouTube, YouTube channel. And you can watch how I, um, how I decorated that. I always find doing a wreath on my lap is a little hard because I feel like it's hard for you to see exactly what I'm doing. Miss Lorraine says, hello from Alberta, another lovely arrangement. Thank you. Okay, so I'm turning it around and you can see how I'm just adding flowers on both sides. Um, I'm gonna come in with my little roses. 
Now, I love this little rose. It's kind of that same buttery color. It has a little bit of a yellow center. It's kind of a white rose with a little bit of a yellow center, and it just works so perfectly with these boxed arrangements with this yellow and white. Miss Catherine says, I'm from Wisconsin and our flowers aren't as beautiful as yours. Really? Uh, meaning that you, d are you like a florist or do you work with floral flat? I mean, florist flowers or it just might be where you're getting your flowers from. And I can give you the name of where we, uh, I think that's too long, where we get our flowers if you need someone to order fresh flowers from. Now, the only thing with our whole, the place that I order flowers from is that you have to order them in bulk and that's hard for some florists. Um, it's sometimes it's easier to order them from a wholesaler versus because you can buy one bundle of roses versus four bundles. But if you ever need a place to order flowers, I can certainly give you some tips on that. Trish Anderson says, who is going to mind the shop while you are with Minnie at Disney? We actually close the week of the 4th of July. And so our flower shop, we really don't leave it. We don't leave it with our um, employees. I'm always here. Um, it's just my baby and it's important to me. And so I am always at the flower shop. If the flower shop is, is open, Jason and I are usually here. And so, um, we've been open, this is our, how many years, Victoria? Our 17th year in business. And so, we have always closed the week of the 4th of July and taken vacation that week. And so, we also closed the last week in December, um, the week before, between Christmas and um, New Year just to take a little bit of a break. We don't always go somewhere that week, but we usually go on a summer vacation. So I tucked the roses in, and then I am going to tuck a little bit of thistle. Miss Sarah Atkins says, I have, a really, oh, I have a really hard time getting a variety of fresh flowers in small quantities. In small quantities. Um, have you got a, a Kroger where you're located? Like our Kroger, carries lots of beautiful flowers in small quantities and some things that like I've never gotten before. Like the first time I ever saw Beaver Few was at Kroger, at our Kroger. Um, I've all, and I heard, what's another store that had it? Um, gosh, I have, I watched some of the different um, Facebook pages that have florists, but I know that our Kroger has even carried some of the prettiest peonies in the spring. Miss Allison Trader said, Joe has yeah. some flowers too. That's Is that what she about. said? Yeah, Trader Joe has some gorgeous flowers. But now some of this are things like this. Um, this is Faria. This is grown in the yard. This is stuff that you can go cut in the yard. And so I want you to keep your eyes open too for things that you can cut in the yard. But some of the um, higher end grocery stores do have, um, have some really pretty stuff. Um, and honestly, sometimes it, their peonies are, are cheaper than what I could buy from the wholesaler. Like, I can't even get them from the wholesaler for as inexpensive as Kroger selling them. And they're beautiful. Miss Margaret says, in Ireland, we never say rain boots. They're called Wellingtons. Wellingtons. How interesting is that? <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn it around, y'all. That is the prettiest arrangement ever. Those turned out so beautiful. I cannot wait to see how the um, how the altar arrangement turns out with all of these wildflowers. It's so lovely. Guys, thank you. Thank you for coming here this afternoon and watching our, our live. Um, please, please keep the suggestions coming. If you want to see some different videos, let me know. I'd love to know. Victoria and I will come up with some, with some new things for you. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to run outside and take some pictures of these pretty arrangements for you so that you can see them. And I don't know how often I'll come live tomorrow, but... But keep your eyes open for new videos tomorrow. Guys, have a great day. We'll see you real soon.